41 years ago I started a part-time job at CKCB 1400 in Collingwood. John Nichols was my boss, he taught me an awful lot about the broadcast business and here it is 41 years later and now John is retiring. We're still friends, I appreciate that John, I appreciate everything you taught me and I was lucky enough to catch up with you at your retirement party at the old Red Hand restaurant in downtown Collingwood. So John, this is a, a special day for you, um, one you deserve. Uh, I was with you the first day of my radio career because you were instrumental in my career and I'm glad to be here for the last day of yours. Right, uh, I was just talking to the folks at uh, Community Christmas Cheer that I'm the honorary chairman of and uh, I, they were asking, well, because there was a picture up on the big screen, FX uh, screen here at, at the Red Hand and uh, you're in the picture with me and uh, your hair is about as short as mine is now but back then <laughs> we were a little more in doubt and they wanted to know who that was and I said there he is right over there and how did he get into radio and I said well I think you came through the, the high school eventually right uh, mm -hmm. when you were going to high school you did a little part-time work for us mm -hmm. and then eventually ended up on air and I was telling them that uh, you were fascinated by radio when I knew it simply because of the fact that there wasn't anybody else in Collingwood that had more nose prints on our front window downtown <laughs> than from you. <laughs> but uh, oh, we've had a great relationship down through the years and uh, it's, been a, it's been a lot of fun. John, looking back, uh, you, you spent some time in Cornwall, you were, uh, you're from Midland. Uh, you, I remember you doing, I think, the weather or the sports on CKBR TV when you were at CKBB, but when you landed in Collingwood, did you ever think you'd be here this long? No, actually, uh, to be honest, uh, I had a couple of bad experiences uh, in previous locations, and I was becoming a little bit disenchanted with, uh, with, with the radio, the way it was operated. But uh, I thought, well, I had the opportunity to come up here, and I thought, well, I'll give it a whirl for a short time, and because uh, I was looking uh, to other fields, I guess it would, you would say. And once I got here and found out that the skiing was great, the fishing was great, the people were absolutely sensational, like uh, such a close-knit community uh, and they had such a, an affinity of involvement with the radio station. And we were, I, I felt like we were sort of central to everything that was going on in, the, in, in Collingwood and in the, in the Georgian Triangle and uh, the more the longer I stayed there. The more fun it became, and uh, well, <laughs> as I say, I hadn't planned on staying, maybe two years at the most, and move on, and, but uh, wow, where did 41 years go? It's 741, 7 degrees, chance of showers coming our way, I'm John Eaton, it is John Nichols Day here on 95.1 The Peak FM, when we kick off retirement week for John Nichols. We are broadcasting live from the Old Red Hen Restaurant. Come on down and join us. All the proceeds from the Old Red Hen Restaurant today go directly to the Christmas cheer, so we want you to come and support that great cause. And also come out and hang out and see John Nichols. He's talking on the radio and the newscast here, but John Nichols' farewell week. I mean, you've been here for so long and have touched so many people, we can't do it in a day. It has to be a week. <laughs> Talk about how things have changed over the years. When you first came, you're back on the main street, so you've kind of gone full circle, but how, how has the technology changed since you arrived? Well, it's like it's unbelievable, and it's changing even faster now than, than it was, say, even 10 years ago. Like when I started in radio, I had never taken computers in school. And in Cornwall, I remember opening up a, a popular mechanics magazine and seeing this picture of this computer, which was almost as big as the red here. And there was a caption at the bottom that said, one day there will be one of these computers in every home. And I laughed. I said, yeah, right, not in my lifetime. Was I in for a shot? Because everything we do is, is on computer now. And with the, the end of uh, technology and the ability to uh, reach from one location to another, just like that, it's... it's Right it's amazing. Now, it's it was an awful steep learning curve for me. Uh. Many special guests pop by throughout the day, including Collingwood Fire Chief Trent Elliott and members of the Collingwood Fire Department and longtime friend Alan Eagleson. Al, what do you remember most about John here over the years? Well, I remember uh, I met Nancy after 57, so we bought our first place in Thornbury in 72. And I woke up every morning and got my day spoiled. Those were good days. <laughs> they sure were. 41 years is a long time in the broadcasting. Yeah, game. sure. To is. be in one place. To survive. Everybody stay in the one city. <laughs> any advice to John Any uh, on how he should retire, things to do? Well, he'll find that there are many more things to do than he could even imagine. Yeah. 
and his wife will find it. <laughs> John, after 41 years, a light had to go off at some point. When did you decide it was time to go? Well, I labored, you know, it's kind of bittersweet because I really enjoy the job. And actually, I wouldn't even call it a job. It's, it's, it's like play, being on the radio. You know it, I know it. And uh, it's been very rewarding for me and my family. Uh, I th seriously thought that I might stick around for a few more years after I hit that, re that so-called retirement age of 65. But uh, a lot of people in the in the last say six months to a year leading up to my 65th birthday said, you know, John, it's probably a good idea because you've had a very successful career and you've had a very rewarding career. You've raised a family here and community has been great to you, and they certainly have. Probably be a good idea if you've got reasonably good health, which I think I do, and my family does. And, uh, we suggested that you know it might be a good idea to uh, enjoy life, uh, do some of those things that you didn't have the time for because you were so actively involved in the community through uh, your job. But uh, take your wife, and go on vacation, or go hiking on the Bruce Trail, or whatever. And, and, sleep in and sleep in yeah until six. I think that would be good.